welcome back to cad cam tutorial we assembled we make two assembly in our last lecture so let's see third assembly assembly this assembly we did in our last lecture so we are going to make next assembly so insert component browse and choose eccentric sheaf now we want to modify this part so click open part edit select 0.7 mm okay now click cancel say save changes say yes save changes in assembly yes now it is change now select this inside hole choose mat and select this barrel click ok now select this surface and back side of the sheaf ok now it is fixed ok now we will insert our next component flywheel open now select this inside hole and select mat and select this upper hole choose reverse direction ok now select this surface and this surface assign some gap keep 2.5 mm ok now sheaf and flywheel is assembled but we want to create a rela relation between this see sheaf is rotating alone and flywheel is rotating alone so we want to make relationship between these both so let's open eccentric sheaf and open flywheel select right plane of eccentric sheaf control shift control key and top plane of flywheel and click mat select ok ok now see it is attached uh, it is a there is now a relation between flywheel and sheaf see i am rotating sheaf and flywheel also rotating now insert another component piston rod ok now select this inside hole insert ok now just drag down ok now do one thing just select this body and hide ok now insert another component piston piston open now select this bar mat select inside hole ok just drop it now select the bottom part of shaft bar and this upper part select reverse direction ok click ok ok now the piston rod and shaft assembly is ready see 
now insert another component choose crank rod 1 select this inside radius choose met the same as here select this radius okay now select this radius and this inside radius okay select this sheave body upper surface and this back surface okay okay now see it is rotating together now insert next component crank rod part 2 open now select this inside radius a uh, hole mat and select this inside okay select this surface and back of this crank rod okay now there one more relation select the hole of this crank rod and hole of this piston rod okay okay now the relation is defined see how it is working see our piston rod connecting rod crank rod everything is rotating with the help of sheave and flywheel so this is our third assembly finish please subscribe our channel for more videos and more projects in solid works thanks for watching